What's happening, people? Welcome back to Out of the Loop. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I just turned my mic down a bit. Um, so yeah, uh, this video is going to be me just showing a little loop uh, that I've got a little. Um, it's like sixteen bar loop, I think. Um, and it's in the style of like this melodic deep, um, which is something I'm trying to do a lot more of now. Try to be a little bit more consistent. Uh, I am a little bit under the weather, uh, so excuse me if I start like sniffling and, and stuff like that. I'll try not to. Um, just some announcements. Uh, we I hit 500 subs, or so out of the loop hit 500 subs, which is amazing. Thank you everyone who subscribed to the channel. Um, I'll, I'll promise to keep giving you consistent content and giving you stuff to learn from. Um, the other thing is I'm going to try and do some live the live stream feedback live stream this Thursday, um, just depending if I start feeling a bit more sick, I probably won't. But yeah, this Thursday we'll do it at 6 p.m. UK time. The way you get involved with it is just join the Discord and there'll be a live stream feedback channel. You put your tracks in there and then I'll give feedback to them uh, live on, on YouTube on Thursday at 6 p.m. Okay, uh, so yeah, it'd be good to have a few of you involved with that. That'd be really good. And then also everybody can chime in on the chat so we can all help each other uh, if you hear anything in the in the track that you want to give feedback on that maybe I miss uh, that would be really helpful as well um, I think that's it uh, yeah cool let's just jump into Ableton so this is the loop it's quite a few elements so um, I based this track around a track that I've been working on with somebody else uh, doing a collaboration with someone um, I'm not going to say any names just that just yet and I can't show the track uh, because in case it gets signed a lot of labels they get quite annoyed if you you know you expose a track before it gets signed um, so yeah I'm not going to do that uh, but I'm, I'm doing a track now this track now to kind of complement uh, that track in, in an EP or you know to get the same kind of feel um, and I liked a lot of the things that this person I worked with did um, so I've kind of like copied some of the ideas and then just turned them into my own uh, production, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I can show you some of these elements and then we will expand from this loop. All right, so let's go through them. Um, we've got the sidechain channel. This here, just a normal sidechain channel is a kick. This here, so if you don't know anything about what this is, it's essentially just the kick channel duplicated and then turned off and then you can send all the things to this sidechain channel even when the kick's not playing, okay? Uh, which you sometimes have a use for, sometimes you don't. Um, a kick is just normal, it's like a nice thumpy kick. Cut out this and the frequencies here, you can't really hear anything past this point, it just takes up headroom. And then I'll just tuck off a bit of this top end because I don't really like that, um, the clicky part. Uh, the drums, is a bit of processing, it's just some compression, tightening it up. Uh, a little boost in the EQ just here, bringing out the clap, um, and that's it really. And then the actual drums themselves. So there's a main like loop that's going through. This changed a few times, like I had a different loop in, but I like this one. It's like a breaks loop uh, from the from this pack, an Eric Harlan pack. This is guy is a nice drummer. So it's a lot of live sounds. And most of these sounds are actually from that pack that I've just took in like one shots and stuff that I made the hats out of it and all that. Um, so yeah, this is just like a nice brakes loop. Um, and then I have this here, which is just like a little fill. Um, oh, turn solo that, turn that on. Uh, and then we got this perks thing here. So this plays quite a big role, um, and I play it every now and again. It's just this little, little pattern here that I'm doing with essentially like a snare. Right? Sounds a bit weird on its own, uh, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a nice little pattern to it. Uh, this is this snare loop I use all the time. Um, I'm not ashamed to admit that. It's from, uh, you can see Ben Boma's pack. 
uh, the perk loop. Um, I just really like the snare in it. It's like very short, snappy, gives you everything that you need. Um, so yeah, that's like my main snare. There's actually not any other snares in this, which I could probably add later on, but this is doing the snare work. Um, and then we have the hats. So I've got this, oh, this is off. Oh yeah, cause it's not in there. These hats are just like, it's just a normal offbeat hat, but then I added a little, little thing hits here just to make it interesting. And then this is kind of like the shaker. It's not really a shaker sound. It's more like a closed hat, but it fills in the gaps with, with the, um, you know, the, the top end. And I just, I took away the notes that were hitting on the, on the off beat on this one, basically. So I, I, t I took these notes away on this, which gives it like a nice, It's like, um, yeah, it sounds a lot better. I can maybe show you if I did <coughs> like this, or maybe more like this. It just gets a little bit confusing. So I think uh, for me, I wanted it just like that. And that's it for the drums. Um, processing wise, there's nothing really. I think this has got, um, yeah, it's just EQ. And then I transposed it, so I think I did. Oh, no, I didn't transpose it. Transpose this one. This one, this hat originally was quite quiet. Uh, not quiet, it's quite low. So I just transposed it up and then boosted it a little bit in this area, then took out some nasty frequencies, standard EQ stuff. And then a bit of a coder just to like liven it up and, and make it a little bit more open. Um, to make it more into a shaker. This compressor is not doing any compression, it's just the volume. I'm trying not to show uh, what I've got here, but uh, keep forgetting. Okay, so um, let's close all this down. <clears throat> this is empty, probably put something on it soon. And this is the bass. So, cool thing about this that you can all do if you have Diva is this is just the initial preset on Diva. I haven't added anything to it apart from chorus. And I think maybe I pushed a bit of this wet up on the reverb uh, just to add some width. And then with that width that I've added, I've then done some um, mid side EQ. So I've just took out the low end in the in the width. Um, so yeah, it's not muddy. You don't always actually have to do that. I've, I've read somewhere recently that you don't always have to take out the subby parts but i find but the the thing in the thing that i read uh, it does say that it it can be quite undefined um the sub side information so it can just make it sound a bit messy but it would make it sound warmer in a way but i'd rather have it a bit cleaner uh these are just so i've got saturation another form of saturation so this is adding like color uh, so if i take these off it's very subtle to be fair you don't really need this <coughs> and then with it on, it's adding volume as well, uh, so don't get tricked by that, it's adding volume. But it's also adding, it's adding a lot of colour, uh, I'm really like pushing it. So even like slight distortion here, uh, I'm allowing it to clip and then with that and then this is just adding more saturation. These are quite expensive. Oh, that's not too expensive, but this is quite expensive. And to be honest, yeah, I you don't need it like to add saturation. You could use whatever you want, like a saturation a, a bit warmer. The preset in here, like you could just use the saturator in, in Ableton, and you get a similar effect. It's just adding a bit of grit and warmth. Um, yeah, a limiter. This is to control the volume. So, yeah, I mean, self-explanatory. I'm just, um, I'm capping the volume, so I'm not letting it go over at all. Uh, with the compressor here, I was trying to control the volume a little bit. You can see here, with a slightly slow attack, uh, but not too slow, and a slightly s quick release, because uh, it's not like a sharp note, it's something that comes in and then comes out. Um, so I don't want it to be like super strong. Um, it might add a bit of distortion if I did that. 
So this is just slightly controlling the volume and then this is really controlling it. And then that way I'm not getting, I'm not having anything overworking. Like this isn't overworking, which will add distortion. This isn't overworking, there's just a slight bit of gain reduction. And I've just judged the volume by ear. Um, and then later maybe I might mix it so it's a bit quieter, we'll see. Um, I have a habit of making my basses too loud. So yeah, I'll come back to that. There's some heavy side chain going on here. Just to the kick, so it's standard, so it's sent to that side chain channel. And then the mid side EQ. So I've done this after the, this because I also wanted to take out the click from this side chain and just really like tame the sound. So it's just it's just sitting around here, this bass. It's nice and warm. It's got a bit of sub uh, frequencies, <clears throat> but it's not overpowering here. And the reason for that is because I've got this piano. Oh. So that like, I started it with it high and then, uh, and it kind of, then it, by doing that, I, I feel like it emphasizes when it gets deeper here. So like these together, it's like really punches a bit more when it gets deep. Uh, so I, what I've done is, let's have a look. I've got these notes here. And then it, and then I add in the, the bass note in the piano here, take it away, and then add it back in. Uh, quite a simple progression. Um, and then there's just a little like voice in here. Yeah, nice. This is with the Labs piano that I always use. This bad boy, really nice soft piano. This is just being used to, oh, there's a slight bit of compression. Very slight. Um, and then just adding some volume, basically. <coughs> That's it, some side chain, um, just so everything's like ducking with the, ducking for the kick. So you get that nice pumping effect. Um, what was I gonna show you? So now we're on these plucks, right? So these plucks. I think I might mess around with the notes, um, but they, um, what there is is three layers. So this music box, I got I completely got this idea from uh, this track that I did before. So if you watch this video, yes, this is from what you did. Um, so he, he used this music box, which is through contact. This is free um, through waves. Um, and yeah, it's quite a weird sounding thing, but it does add a really nice belly kind of tone. Yeah, there's quite a bit of reverb on that. Um, so yeah, that's just, that's what I started off with. And the pattern of this is the same as the pattern for this, this thing here, <clears throat> as in like the timing of it. And so then they kind of work together. So. So it's kind of like, you know, complementing it. So it's adding a transient in a sense, but I also added then my own transient through Serum. This is just like everything's turned off apart from this. Um, so I don't actually need these on. It's just a noise oscillator. I just flicked through the transient in the in, not in Serum, in the noise. So there's loads and loads of stuff that you can choose from. And I just flicked through and found one that I liked. And it's just adding like a little... <coughs> Sorry, um, I think I've got a delay on here actually, I need to turn off. Yeah, um, and then we've got um, the serum layer. So this is essentially the same patch as that one. And it's just... So yeah, it's just two oscillators. Um, this one's two octaves above. And then this is one octave up from the root. Um, and then it's, I just, I just use the, um, the, whatever, the four zero eight eight. So if you open up a oscillator then you just go back one, this is what comes up. Um, I use this one and I've just added a bit of unison for some width. Um, so it's just like a plucky shape as you can see here. This envelope is just 
to open it up every now and again uh, just open the filter but uh yeah it's still very very plucky very short bit of delay uh, i took the reverb and chorus off because i what i did so i had all of these together right so these were just playing like like this and then i added it 100 percent wet of this reverb this black hole reverb this one here um, I do this a lot, you've probably seen it in my other videos, and it created this. This also has, a, has the piano being played for it, and it has the bass being played for it. So it's like this nice remnants of the track, like a really washed out reverby thing that I'm then sending to the reverb again. <laughs> so then it's like, yeah, it's just this really nice wide sound that kind of brings the track together. So. so it's it's ducking because this has got a side chain on it it's got a really heavy side chain so it's going wah, 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 like that as you can see and then i took the side i automated the side chain off so what am i what am i talking about i uh basically i let it i recorded the reverb from here right i recorded the black hole and it went onto this channel and as it was recording i turned this off like this which gave me this part here then what i did with this recording is i took turned it tuned it to a seventh took some of the formant down because it sounded a bit weird so i tuned this to the seventh so basically for here it's normal then it goes up to this the fifth perfect fifth then it's normal then it goes down to the perfect fifth <laughs> So the reason for that is because I've got this this uh, crash or ride that I'm using every now and again, just uh, in and out. It kind of goes with it, so it opens up the here. You see the yeah. So everything's kind of cohesive with each other. So now I want to expand on this. Um, it's, it's at a good po point, but I'm not 100% sold on these plucks. I don't know if they're too loud or I don't know. Maybe I just need to play around with this serum one. This is the main voice. These, this is just like, you know, the upper part. I don't know if it was too wide. Yeah, I think I might have that down the middle. Yeah, so it's really quite nice with just that. Um, but it doesn't really come out much. So I think maybe just with this, I could turn it down a bit. Yeah. Um, I think I like it, but... Uh, might just play around with the notes. So add in this A all the way through. And then maybe what I could do is get it to go in with the bass. So the bass goes A and then F. Sounds a bit off. Hmm. I wonder why that is. So the piano, yeah, it goes 
a oh it doesn't go a hmm goes e e and then it goes yeah a a is the top note okay let's try e a so this one here so we go uh, we can move this one to uh this one to e maybe down here yeah that's nice maybe up here yeah I quite like that and then we could go this one stay on the a and then this one so here i'll make this easier for me and for you guys to see uh so now we're on this one here let me just click on this and then hold control on the piano looks a bit confusing now but what i do is just click on the what i want to move which is this zoom into this little section here uh, so you can see that now this is playing on that note so it's kind of working with each other aha uh -huh. and then now this is on the a so we could move this to the c oh that's nice okay so now everything's going with with each other um maybe up to the e again. Maybe I could go like, mm, to be fair, actually I quite like how it is, but we could put in the A here in this. We've got F and A playing, so maybe I could just go down here and here. And then this has got E, and then we could do like a G here somewhere. Maybe like G. And then I actually go up to the A, so we can go. And that sounded off. Mm. So maybe we just do the A, maybe? And then this could, you know, you get what I'm doing here. Just basically going with the piano notes, which is like the main chords. Yeah, do the same here maybe or just keep it on the E yeah keep it on the E and then yeah what do we have going on here so we got D if this is really confusing to look at so basically look at these gray things that's my piano progression and I'm looking at these little voices just to add interest to this pluck so I'm just copying the uh, the melody of the voicing that I've done on the piano, so then it's more cohesive, um, which is like you know quite typical in this in this genre. So we got E here, um, then maybe I put this one here, D, C, no, go here. No, sorry, this is G up here. And then maybe put in another one just here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, go away. There. Yeah, nice. That's a nice little pattern there. Um, okay, so what I could then do is just copy this. Oh, shit. Copy this to here. complicated but really it's I'm just following the pattern of of uh, what I've already done before and you know, I'm finding that a lot with my production now that it's just using the same thing that you've already got you know I've already I did this this is the first thing I did and then everything else is like complementing around it 
the drums like i made this nice little pattern i was like oh yeah i like that so then i emphasized on it with with this kind of pattern with the melody pattern so everything's cohesive um let's see what this sounds like with this as well <laughs> This is nice. I like this. Um, but so with the track that I did, I've been talking about that I did in a collaboration with someone, um, something that he did, uh, which I really liked, is this kind of these kind of elements, these like plucky elements, even though it has got a melody to it. Um, and his was more like arpeggiated. He used this as a background kind of thing. Um, and it worked really well. I liked it. So I I think um, I might do a similar thing, though this melody kind of is, is pretty strong. Um, and then I will add in another lead to be a bit more dominant because this is quite like background. So let's see what that would sound like. Um, So, uh, let's use Diva, and I will use this lead that I've been using, but I will switch up some parameters, I think. So, maybe I will just copy over the lead here. Um, yeah, this one. Control C, and then Control V. It's going to be very loud. And it's too deep, so we go. Yeah, this is good, but uh, maybe it's too... I've got like the piano is playing here, the bass leaks into here. It's going to be a big build up in this area. Wouldn't mind if this was a bit further along. Maybe let's try. Sounds a little bit like Tropical House, which I don't really like, <laughs> but uh, I can make it sound not so. I mean, it's yeah, it sounds nice and chop some tropic house is really good but it's a bit like too cheery and and jolly um and i would rather it sound a little bit like deeper and darker I might add some of this oh there should already be swing on actually yeah there is let me control z yeah so by the by the way i have the swing that i've set to all the drums is set on this op i do that if i have any like plucky notes that are playing on 16 so then they're kind of just swinging with with the track rather than playing on a different timing uh, okay, so yeah, this sounds good. This is the patch. A bit of play, maybe. Luckiness of it uh, and the voice in here. One thing I'm noticing now is that the music is a little bit too loud. And I think what all I'll do is, so we've got this piano here. I think I'll separate the piano and keep that loud. But these elements, this can kind of go with the plucks. Yeah, so <sighs> it's really 
does sound very like tropical house. Uh, I wonder if I can then make this sound not so. How would I do that? It's probably just the tone of this. That's the melody. It's like do 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 do. Maybe I need to go down. Did I do that on the right one? Yeah, I did. Okay, and then just copy this. This melody is so happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go with it, and uh, we'll see if like I can make it sound a bit more like deep, progressive, with some of the drum elements um, and the bass and stuff like that. So like I could do things like this. Trying to make it sound a bit more like gritty and darker by opening it up. Uh, okay, so hmm. maybe if I put less notes, so and it's like the happiness is like some stuff like this going down up, then there's this here, so maybe like. have to mute this stuff. This is okay. Yeah, like the deeper the deeper it goes the less happy it's Clear. Playing a lot like down here, so it's going to become a bit unclear. Okay, so I do like it, but I just don't want to go down this direction. It's just melody. I've got to fix it. I've got to fix it. All right, so maybe to take away some of this. Yeah, this little shit. is all the same 
I'm just going to put a dynamic 2. And this will make the velocity... So the shape now, I guess I can do that with the mod wheel. So with these active, it means all three of these oscillators, I can I can manipulate the shape. So the shape, this, with the with my mod wheel that I've got on my Moog. So if I move the mod wheel. Think, oh no, wait, sorry. I need to actually have this on. Now it's sounding less like Tropical House. It's a bit like darker. And with the mod wheel, I think, let's see. You can do it so it will, I know that will be pitch. But I can get it to only transpose. You can't see it, but it's basically moving between these, all three of them are. Um, yeah, it's just sounding a bit better. It's a little bit like twisted. Um, so it's not so jolly, I guess. Okay. I think I'm going to put this on this as well, and then I'll copy this over. <laughs> So quiet. Are the notes fucked up now? Why? I mean, I don't mind having this actually. This like the top layer, this is like the body, this is the kind of in the middle, and then this is the transient. So we go, you can see this. Okay, um, this is okay, but it's not great. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, there's something so happy about it. It's like there's just too many notes. I feel like maybe dun 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 dun. Okay, I'm going to spend a bit of time on this, so sorry if uh, you're bored of this melody already, but this is what I do. Yeah, that's a lot less happy. Okay, so get rid of it. I'm going to bring that mod. This little like not too much taken away. So let's get rid of this. Okay, 
so let's duplicate this and then just make this part a little bit different. Maybe we add in the, some of those notes there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that little added thing just to make it a little bit different. And then maybe we go up again. Let's go from here. to make it a little more dark. for the life <laughs> okay so keep this the same now it's a little bit like buzzy and not so nice what did I do sharpness you can kind of see with <laughs> tracking it means the higher than up the keyboard you go the more the filter will open up I quite like it the melody is decent um, but yes maybe it's a bit weird I don't know That's like my idea of a sound design now because anyone can put, make an arp and anyone can make a lead or a pluck. Um, but, you know, it's being able to push it a little bit further to make you, make your sounds sound more unique and sound more like, you know, you put some effort in. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do now. I just don't want to go too far.
it sounds weird but still good too much. slight bit of that. Really want it to just, you know, sit right. I think what I need to do now is just build the track. So Let's go here, uh, bring this in like a lot later on. Oh shit, duplicate, what's going on? My mouse is messed up. Okay, duplicate this. I can't remember if I move the this over, but let's just put this here. <sighs> uh, this here, and then and just copy this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, and then, I'm sorry, I'm taking away all of this. And I'm gonna have, and that's gonna be obviously, I think that bass is too open. There we go. Okay, yeah, um, so let's take, let's take uh, the kick. Yeah, side chain. And we'll take, not the snare, we'll take this ride here. And I think the piano is like a main part, so. So uh, stiff, sorry, not weird. Uh, maybe this. And I think maybe just the open hat as well, actually. I think oh, I wonder actually if I had this instead of the piano the piano is nice though actually um, and then I'll just do this and maybe do like a little fill here. Yeah, the piano was good.
This is a bit weird now. Mm. sounds terrible okay so i was thinking just then i like this just simple all right i'm gonna just copy this here <laughs> So basically, all the work that I've just done, just got rid of. <laughs> I do this all the time, so I'm okay with it. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Um, yeah, so I, it's just like it's too much. This is it. Just sounds too jolly, and you know, it sounds like the wrong kind of genre. Um, and this is what I'm trying to do lately. I'm trying to be a bit more focused, and it feels kind of like I'm trying to fit into a box. But in a way, it's kind of necessary, uh, you know, to, to slightly go towards one direction rather than like, you know, maybe the old me would have been like, yeah, well, let's just make some tropical house then. Like, why not? Um, and the reason why not is because I'm not trying to go in that direction. I don't want to release a lot of tropical house songs. So if I do one, then what's the point if I'm not going to make more than one? So I'm trying to just stay within this like nice, progressive deep sound um, and so with that I need to not have this kind of melody uh, so yeah yes so um, let's listen from here I'm trying to bring this in <laughs> Just all right. Maybe we expand on this piano so it goes. And then I think by this point you kind of want something more. And maybe with this as well, it's a little. Or I think what I could do is take this out, take this away. This one's normal. Here, I'll bring it in. Uh, 
Okay. So we go here. So I think I'm just going to keep it going low then high. So control J. Um, until I just have this, you know, as one thing. Loop it. And then like this. I'm really not sure about these plucks. I don't know if I like them. They just sound so um, not in line with the rest of the track. think I'm gonna get rid of them maybe just like okay let's go from here <laughs> Let's do an op. Let's do an op from, okay, get rid of all this. An op like this, maybe. This just looks like an interesting op, maybe. Down, uh, yeah, maybe like this. And I could do like a polyrhythmic. Let's see. like this kind of like happy music where it's cheesy or it's nice and just warm and I think before it was just cheesy um, and this is kind of these kind of sounds are making it sound a bit cheesy I think I'm gonna get rid of serum here and just keep it so let's see what it's like
think what I will do is make it not the same each time so we can go like this god damn it it's just constantly going up so maybe you go still sounds a bit cheesy to me Start here. Okay, I'm just going to cut it. Are we not playing this? What's going on? a little bit I quite like this at the start um, and then maybe we go sounding a little bit like cheesy. affecting the cutoff and so it's making it so every one four well not really because I've moved the rate it's basically just making it so the cutoff will open kind of randomly at a random shape <laughs> so it's just adding a bit of like um, almost like it errors in the sound so like an analog gear um, it really isn't always perfect when you play around with it um, you know some things can just sound a bit out of place and whatnot Sorry, my nose is running. I'm definitely getting sick. Um, but yeah, so then by doing this like kind of randomness, you don't know when these mistakes are going to happen. But you can't really hear them. It's quite, it's very subtle. And that's just making the sound sound a little bit more unique. <laughs>
do like this little layer, but I think it needs to be. should cut we've had a long enough time with the beat and then we drop down into into take away this maybe and take away this and then get rid of this um yeah <laughs> there and take away the snare and this and this maybe all of this oh shit this as well and this <laughs> Gently again. So let's pretty up this main drop. I think one of yeah, definitely gonna have this here. Um, we're gonna take out the low end in the track. I do have a limiter on the on the track. That's why it sounds loud. Just so you know, um, I wouldn't actually normally have keep this on while I'm producing, but I wanted it to be loud enough for the video. Um, and it doesn't really matter too much. Like I'm not. Not oh, nah. yeah. I mean, it's like a, a good, good volume level, no distortion. Um, what was I doing? This just little added things to make it sound impactful when it drops. Do this here. Take away the width. Um, maybe with the cut off here, I can mess around with. Or this cut off, let's see. Open it up slightly. And then just here, I like doing this a lot. This is my thing, don't steal it. Um, I just like to add like a little different thing. 
usually going up, but maybe I can go. <laughs> oh yeah, I went off. Uh, let's do this. It sounds really bad with this cut off. And I think that's because of this FM thing. No, it's not that. Why does it sound so bad? And it's like cutting really abruptly. That's so weird. Is it this? Is this? Oh, yeah. This is going... Just get rid of this automatic automation. It's really annoying. It's because I don't have this lock on. Anyway, so I really not. I'm not a huge fan of this. I'm, I think I'm probably going to change it a million times. But I want to work with what I've got right now, and then maybe something will come to me. It's just not really sounding like me right now. Sudden, something's happening with some other automation. This, no. It's so like sudden. I should get rid of this kick. so cheesy uh, bring it down take away more of the elements maybe here add in the bass note which was Thank you. 
over the, some of the side information um, from here onwards. What I want to do is side chain it actually to the, although I guess, no, I haven't on there. I'm going to do it on the, ki on the whole channel and get it to go with the kick. See what that sounds like. More for like sound design, the mixing process. I, I, I want it to actually like in groove with the track. <laughs> I've like opened it up with the LFO more so it's like the filters opening up more often it's making it sound a little bit more interesting and dirty which I like I think I need to introduce a bit of this. Yeah, so. so what's happening now is um, the filter modulation here that I've put in, which is like a cross mod or whatever. Um, it's kind of the same. I'm mixing it in with the LFO. So as the LFO opens up and activates and whatnot, uh, it will start cross like filter modulating um, this the speed of this oscillator into the other oscillators like two and three, as you can see, uh, which just basically gives it like a almost detuny. Uh, which makes it sound a bit nice and interesting. Add resonance it takes away some of the low end just so you know um, so I'm, I'm, I don't want much low end I kind of want like a higher but it can start sounding a little bit spacey <laughs> Let's listen from here. This is boring. It needs to be like, it needs to be, they have the bass note in there, um, which was E, E. I feel like it was. And then we'll take it away when the bass is there. so cheesy um, maybe it's too low or maybe like really take away this I really don't need all of this this thing being like using it more and then maybe like with an echo um yeah maybe just like this maybe reverse 
Grüße. Und ich zähle auf. like making it a bit confusing so if i automate this off here on here away some notes. Oh, that's quite nice, just simple. Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is do this. to be smooth so we go like this maybe. is off. if I'd have just kept that for my me and my rule is kind of like eight bars of something is enough especially like a lead or like bringing in something else or chilling it down a bit so I could just take away this let's see letting the bass and the piano do a bit of work <laughs> Maybe this should calm down like a bit here.
introduce is a pad. Um, yeah, I do. So I'm going to duplicate this piano because I want it to follow the same chords. Get rid of all of this. Put a little thing here because I know there's going to be a change. Um, change. And then, you know, we're kind of breaking down into a big bridge here. It's going to come um, here. If I can't get to for some reason. Not here. <laughs> um, which will be made up of stuff like in here. So maybe I'll just copy this just so I get the, the idea. Control C. Oh, shit. No, oh, wait. Do this. Control. If you hold Alt and click these, it closes everything down like that. Okay, so do this, control C. Yes, so then now I, I know that there's going to be a bridge here. Big bridge. Probably going to duplicate this. Yeah. Obviously, it needs fixing. It's all like, like there won't be any kick here. There won't be hats and drums and stuff it's going to be very like just paddy and piano-y um, and then this will probably yeah just do this and duplicate this even though I don't really know what that that is but I will fix it I'm going to make the melody go a bit crazy here probably like there but for now I need something here and that's going to be this piano is going to change into a nice pad. These pads are sick. Sorry, I'm not showing you how to do sound design of a pad, but I like these because they're actually like real instruments, and that's what I use. Um, so let's turn this down. Like how nice is that? I can never recreate that. So yeah, that's why I use labs. Um, okay, so let's see if it works. fully to this reverb so it's like adding a whole layer of really wet reverb which um, could be a bit of a problem later but I think I need to reduce the reverb on this as well. Mm -hmm. 
adds like all these weird textures but they're really nice. echo on and I'm going to feed back the shit out of it to really make it intense. <laughs> a little gap I think and then we'll go back into this drop so take this la 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 and a little gap that's probably too big <laughs> that's very big um, or maybe not actually let's see <laughs> I didn't like how open that fucking lead was. Okay, so let's go over here, there. Move this here. It's like a nice element, but it's just too much, really. Um, and you pl it plays a lot. So I think you just let that last drop be really, like, deep. Okay, so here we go.
this idea, but um, let's go utility, bring this volume right down. thinking I want to make this piano do something sexy so we go um, uh, what am I thinking I think maybe like down crash here so it's as it and this is like echoing in it's nice I feel like it could be louder Maybe I just automate this for here. So I could just bring this up. Let's go like there. there. That way it's more impact here. So these transients are essentially emphasizing some of the notes, but they're not emphasizing all of them. Um, and I mean, I could have it where it emphasizes all of them, but it's sounding good like this, just having a little little tick on them. Um, yeah, just like a little variance. Okay, so this needs to come in slowly, so like this. This is all unnecessary. And then maybe it comes in like this and then slowly opens up more. Okay.
uh, I'll do more here. And it's not very DJ friendly. Um, and it would need to be longer at the start as well. But the radio edit, uh, in a sense, is there. Okay. So, how long have I been recording for? Shit. Ah, an hour. Okay. Um, so, let's listen from the start. Yeah, that's a bit odd there. Maybe like that. I should do more with this bass. DC, DC, do, 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 DC, DC. Oh. It's not the same note. Da 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 Could be. 
open it up. Let's try. I want it to really like hit a bit more. So let's click cut off frequency there. Open this up. So um, what am I going to do? I want to do this. Automate open here. Um, and then we're going to do this. I'm going to do this. Maybe more. like I think maybe if I took away this stuff that's not nice a lot of it. yeah it just makes it sound fucked up take this away take that away yeah I think I just need to make some space. needs to be normal this needs to be like that sick but I'm still managing to produce music which is good it's keeping me uh keeping my mind occupied i think once i stop i'm gonna be really feeling sick what's uh -huh. it wasn't the wrong one i've just copied it strange da -da 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 -da. okay here okay cool and then here here 
want to uh, make this a bit more fun later on. Oh. This piano is too quiet here. Maybe I'll just add velocity to all of it. sounds off but it does I think it's because it's got this melody playing it kind of clashes <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. <sighs> Press control Z too many times. Okay. This velocity down. And then this is going to be somewhere in here, maybe like there. No, it's clashing. Um, I don't have too many notes. So loud. Which is annoying. Um, I think because there's all the detuning on this. So maybe I'll take this off. Let me just go with the bass. Something like that. Yes, I think the track is at a good point. Um, I think I'll come back another day, uh, give it a rest. Maybe it sounds shit and I don't know because I'm sick. Um, but yeah, it's always good to have a break. 
You can tell I'm getting worse. <laughs> I don't want to keep sniffling on the mic. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty happy with how it's sounding. Um, I like, yeah, it's good. So good point. Uh, there's a solid structure. The arrangement's good. Mixing sounds not bad. It's not really not far off. Um, yeah. So I'm not even sure what I'm going to call this video because it wasn't the start. I already made a lot of the elements. But yeah, you guys saw... Um, you saw like kind of the important stuff like the arrangement and then transitions and uh, and whatnot. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching if you're still here. <laughs> I don't know if you've watched the entire video. Um, yeah, so I think I've already said the announcements at the start of the video. Um, yeah, just make sure you join in with the live stream on Thursday and just make sure you join the Discord so you can then actually be in that live stream. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much, guys. Catch you next time.